let us now look at direction ratios of the line joining two points so if i have two points available for example this is the first point a which is you know having the coordinates x1 y1 z1 uh, likewise i have another point which is your b having coordinates x2 y2 and z2 how do i find the direction ratios of the line joining these two points so for example if i talk about this line if i talk about this line which joins your a to b how do i find the direction because this is also a direction right this is also a direction how do i find the drs of this direction first of all finding dcs of this uh, is a different ball game we'll first try to find out what are the direction ratios always remember it's easier to find drs so you can always find drs and from that you can extract what the dc is so how do i find out the drs so first of all if you write this vector uh, ab bar ab bar is the vector which starts from a and goes to b right so we've already seen the vector joining two points you simply what you do is because you are starting from a and going to b you will write the coordinate of b first which is x2 and then you will subtract x from x1 from this and because this is the component because these are your x uh, coordinates you will write i cap similarly plus y2 minus y1 j cap plus z2 minus z1 k cap this is what you do right you subtract the x coordinates and then multiply this scalar which you got after subtraction with i cap Similarly, you subtract y coordinates, multiply that with the unit vector along y axis. You subtract z components, multiply this with the unit vector along z axis, and you simply add these three. And this is how, this this is how you get your ab bar vector. This is something that we already saw in the vectors chapter, right? So uh, this is a vector in its component form, right? So what I can simply say is what I can simply say is this 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 these three quantities. basically your x2 minus x1 your y2 minus y1 and your z2 minus z1 this itself is a direction ratio this is a direction ratio right so it's very very simple now whenever you have two points available with you in their coordinate with their coordinates you simply subtract the two coordinates you simply subtract the two coordinates and uh you know uh, subtract x2 x1 comma y2 minus y1 comma z2 minus z1 and that actually forms your dr what if i ask you about b a bar will the direction will will the drs of this be different from this the answer is no why because if you simply multiply this with minus 1 all these three with minus 1 then you will get x1 minus x2 you will get y1 minus y2 you will get z1 minus z2 and that is basically the components of your b a bar vector you know the one which starts from b and goes to a right but as you already know if l m n are my direction cosines lambda l lambda m lambda n are the direction ratios now this lambda can be positive or negative doesn't matter right if you if you multiply this with a plus sign you'll be pointing in the same direction if your lambda is negative you'll be pointing in the opposite direction but both directions both these directions have the same set of have the same set of direction ratios have the, even though they are pointing in the opposite directions this particular line that you see this line itself whether your vector is pointing along this side or this side doesn't matter this line will have its own set of direction ratios but if i talk about the directional cosines if i talk about the directional cosines of this vector and this vector that is different so the, if a b c are the direction cosines of this then minus a minus b minus c will be the direction cosines of this but that is directional cosines when i talk about directional vector directional ratios well that is the same for this entire line whether your vector is pointing in this direction whether it's pointing in this direction whether it's this long whether it's this long no matter doesn't matter if your vector is along this line be it whatever its magnitude and uh, wherever it's pointing to it will have the same set of direction ratios but directional cosines that is unique uh, for whether the vector is pointing this side or this side right so with this we complete uh, the topic called direction ratio of the line joining two points let's move on to uh, the next sub topic